Well, good morning. And today, this story is requested by Kaya and excited to share this. This is one of her favorites and it is about her grandpa. Well, um, I got married when I was quite older, when I was 47 years old. And to say I was set in my ways is the truth. But Danny, what a wonderful man he is and what a wonderful new husband he was. Well, we got married and everything went really, really well. But Danny had this one little silly little thing. It was he never could find his keys. And it was just so cute at first. You know, he'd come home and he'd go, oh, if I were my keys, where would they be? And it was cute at first. And we'd go on the little key search. Well, this kept happening and happening. So always the new good little wife, I bet I bought a really nice silver plate to set on his dresser so that when he got home from work, he could just set his keys and empty out his coins. And it just looked so pretty sitting there on his uh, dresser. Well, Danny isn't your typical kind of guy. He's an HVAC tech and he's very good at it. And he also carries lots of strange things in his pockets, like little electrical caps, yellow and orange, and um, all kinds of electrical tape and all kinds of things, even little tiny screwdrivers. Well, soon this beautiful silver plate was filled with screws and washers and electrical caps and electrical tape and everything but his keys okay that's fine i'll get a little basket and i'll set it in the kitchen because he has to walk in through the family room and then go through the kitchen and i can just have on the kitchen counter a nice little basket he can drop his keys well that worked for maybe a week and then we were back to if i were my keys where would they be and it was still cute, and we'd go on the search, and we'd find his keys, and off to work he'd go. Well, he started losing them again. The little basket was filled up with everything other than his keys. Well, I thought, I'll hammer a little nail. I'll put a nail up right by the kitchen. So the minute he walks in, he, oh, the only thing that can go there would be his keys. Bam, bam, bam. I hammer it right into the wall. Didn't care where it was. I wanted it in plain sight. There was the nail for his keys. Honey, here's the nail. The minute you walk in, just hang your keys up. Only your keys will fit there. Solve, problem solved, right? Well, that worked for a while. And it worked. And then we were back to Honey, have you seen my keys? And the key search would go on. Well, one night, Danny came home. Uh, we had to be to an appointment quickly. And he'd set his keys down. He didn't know where they were. And I just said, here, let's use my keys. Let's go. So we used my keys and we went to our appointment and had a great time and got home and everything's wonderful. Well, the next morning, Danny left for work at 630 in the morning. And he was long gone. I didn't have to be to work until 7.45. So I was having my happy little morning day. And then here it was. Time to get ready, get in the car. Went to my purse because I always put my keys in the little pocket just on the inside of my purse. I went, got all my things together, grabbed my purse, reached into the little pocket. No key. No key. Where's my key? Where's my key? Frantic. I start looking because I hate being late for work. I'm looking. I can't find it. Hi, low. I have no clue. And then the light goes off. I let Danny take my keys. Now he took the whole key ring, mind you. The keys to work, the keys to the house, the keys to the car. I have nothing. Oh, I can call him. We've got cell phones. 
Danny Cook, leave a message at the tone. Oh, I tried again. <laughs> leave your message. <laughs> leave your message. Text message. Text message. Danny, you have my keys. Where are they? No response. It's Monday morning. He's in a staff meeting. No phones on during staff meeting. I am frustrated. Where could he have put my keys? Does he have my keys? What happened to my keys? I'm looking around. I'm frantic. Where could they be? And then I look up and there on the kitchen wall is the nail. Where the nail's supposed to be. And it's one of Danny's thousand baseball caps. It's hanging on the hook. I think, is it possible? Would he have hung my keys up on his hook and then put his baseball cap over the top? I'm walking over there and I lift up the cap and there are my keys. He put my keys on his hook and then he covered it with his hat. Ooh, I am now mad and I grabbed that hat and I took it. He loves baseball caps. He has hundreds. He has a thousand of them. And I'm mad. So I'm taking my frustrations out on his baseball cap. I'm pulling it. I'm taking it. I put it in my mouth. I'm going to rip it in half. Uh, or some scissors. I'm going to cut it in half. Couldn't find any scissors. So what do I do? I grab his hat and I go, doo, doo, doo. I spit right in it. And I'm really mad. Then what am I? I rub it around. And I take my keys. And I hang his hat back up, and I walk out of the house. The key story. I did get home later that night and felt so bad. I did wash his hat. End of story.